amazing artists and welcome back to Art at Home with me, Miss Wegman. What we're going to do today is we are going to make the flowers for our grassy background that we made together last time to go along with the painting by Andy Warhol that we learned about. So if, depending on what you used, you either have your painted one that you used with the forks or if you just used markers and crayons to make some different shaped lines going in different directions, that's fine too. Um, these flowers are really easy. If you want, you can simply draw them on a separate piece of paper. You color them one color each with uh, four little black dots in the middle to accent them and then just cut them out and glue them on top of your background. But what I'm gonna show you today is a really cool way that you could make your flowers um, using something called a marker print. It's a little similar to something that we've done in school before where we use the foam and you drew on it with markers and then we wet the paper and rub them together and made a print. We're going to do something similar to that. So for that you're going to need a piece of paper to put your print on, a piece of tin foil that's um, maybe like a smidge smaller or about the same size as your paper because I'm going to do all four of my flowers on this one piece. And you're going to need markers and probably a little spray bottle or something to wet your paper with. So let's give it a shot. All right, I have all my materials ready. Now my foil is about the same size as my paper. So when I make the print, I know that whatever I put on my foil will end up on my paper. So I'm going to make all four of my flowers right here on my tin foil. I'm going to make them solid color. So I'm going to have a pink one. I also picked out a purple, an orange, and a blue. I'm going to draw all of my flowers and fill them in. Now it's very, very important that you try your best not to touch the marker when it's on the foil because it will smudge. to the side ever so slightly and bring in my white paper. Now here comes the really fun part. I'm going to give my white paper a little spritz of some water. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, take my wet paper and I am going to put it face down right on top of my marker. And with my hand, I'm going to kind of give it a pat and a rub. Now the thing to remember about marker prints is that a lot of the times not everything will always come through and that's perfectly normal, but most of it should. And if we peel it up off of the foil and I flip it over, I've got four marker printed flowers. Now I can let these dry and then I'm going to cut them out and glue them on top of my green grassy background. And as you can see, I took my flowers and cut them out. They looked a little bit blurry in the middle. Sometimes when your paper gets a little too wet, you might get something very smudgy like this. And if your paper is a little too dry, it may not smudge at all. And that's okay. That's the way printmaking works. Uh, but you can always cut them back out and restore them to their flower shape and then just glue them on top of your green grassy background. And there you go. That's how you make those Andy Warhol flowers. And that's it for today, artists. Remember, you can always pause and rewind the video at any point to keep up with me. And you don't have to do the marker print if you don't want to or if you don't have the materials. You can always just draw your flowers, color them. Remember, each flower is only one color. Put the four little black dots on the inside, cut them out, and glue them on top of your background. And don't forget to send me your completed artwork. I can't wait to see them. See you again soon.